Hi, Mark Leapart here, continuing on with the Big Fix Foundation series. In this section, I will cover the post install steps needed to configure Big Fix. Let's get started here. So, first off, you need to validate that the install of Big Fix went as planned. Uh, so, you want to check the Big Fix diagnostics tool and make sure everything's green. Everything is green, great. Uh, log in your Big Fix console and validate that your Big Fix server is checking in. Uh, it should be black, it should not be gray. And finally, check that the services are all running. So run the services.msc app and you should see all of these services running. Moving on, uh, the overview of the Big Fix console. Uh, in the lower left-hand corner is the section called Domains. And as you click on a domain, directly above it in the domain panel, the navigation tree will change. So uh, the domains uh, are contextual. So when you click on one, the context and the navigation tree will change. As you click on items in the navigation tree, to your right, the list panel, uh, you will see information there. So in this particular example, I'm on fixes and tasks, and I've highlighted a fixlet. As you highlight a fixlet, the information about that fixlet shows up below in the work area. If you right click on a fixlet, then this context menu, item number six, will show up. Uh, the work area toolbar allows you to take action. You can copy the fixlet, you can export the fixlet, uh, you can hide it, you can hide it globally. Uh, finally, at the top, uh, your back button is going to be your friend. Uh, much faster, many times, to just hit back than to uh, re navigate to where you were. And also, show non relevant context can be very helpful. Sometimes you're looking for something and it doesn't show up. Uh, so you have to click on show non-relevant context and more than likely it will be gray because uh, by default, Big Fix is going to show you what is relevant for your environment. So the steps that we need to go through are basically these four. Uh, accept the ULIS, enable desired sites, assign computers to the enabled sites, and then you activate the analyses. So log on to your console. Uh, I think we already covered that a little bit uh, at the very beginning here, but uh, it's, this will automatically populate with your Big Fix server name and whatever ID that you've created, uh, go ahead and put that in along with the associated password. And that will present you with your Big Fix environment. So uh, we need to navigate to the Big Fix management domain and then click on the License Overview Dashboard. Um, you're going to search through here, and you're going to be looking for these EULAs. Uh, this is pretty much what they look like. And use your license agreement, and there's an Accept button for every EULA in, that you own. So look through this, and for all your EULAs, accept them. After you've done that, then we need to enable the sites. And these are going to be different for everybody. Uh, if you've got a uh, patch and, and uh, or if you've got uh, lifecycle starter kit, uh, this is pretty much, this set is pretty much aimed at a lifecycle starter kit. Uh, for patch, you wouldn't have software distribution That's, and you wouldn't have inventory and license, uh, but you'd have asset discovery, patches for windows. Uh, know that this will, this name is changes uh, on the next screen to enterprise security. Uh, so be aware of that. So once you've enabled each one of these sites, uh, it's going to take a while uh, for Big Fix to go out and gather the information uh, regarding each one of the sites. Um, so I would suggest you take a good 15, 30 minute break. Uh, let it go out there and gather. 
So um, to easily look at uh, the information uh, to add computers, um, I suggest we go to the warnings dashboard and you'll see all of the uh, warnings that you have. And these were all the products that we just uh, enabled. What we were waiting for is the computers to go uh, from this, this whole screen would be gray uh, under the save changes and where the arrow is pointing at. This is all gray. Um, and that's why we're having to wait and take on a break. So once you come back from break, uh, these will now be uh, black and you can go through each one of these sites and enable all computers. So you click on the all computers radio button, click on save changes, and go to the next one. Next, we need to install Flash support for the console. Uh, this is based off of a Windows 2016-2019 server. Uh, so this DISM uh, call uh, will work for both of those OSs. If you're on another flavor of Windows, um, you're going to have to go and do some Google searches to find what is the correct uh, command to install Flash on those. Um, but this is the example for a 2016, 2019 server. And uh, you do need to reopen your VicFix console after you've enabled Flash. Okay, now that we've got computers assigned, we've got Flash taken care of, uh, we need to activate the analyses. Um, analyses is we'll go to all content domain and click on the analysis site. And for uh, all of the products that you've enabled, all the sites you've enabled, uh, you're going to have various analyses. And this is a location that you're going to have to come back to uh, periodically as you enable sites and as endpoints check into sites, Big Fix will then say, oh, I can go gather information about that site or gather, uh, run whatever this analysis is. Uh, so check them on a regular basis and uh, make sure that you have all of the sites activated for all the analyses activated for the sites that you are concerned with. For more information, you can follow this URL. That concludes the post install of Big Fix. Thank you.